In this video, we are going to create an as-built using Revit architecture and laser scan data. This is the Bellingham Granary built in the early 1900s. And what we're going to do with our laser scan data is bring that into Revit architecture, create our model, floor plans, and section detail. Since we're only interested in the building itself, we don't need surrounding elements like the ground and the trees. If we zoom into the building here, we'll find other objects and artifacts, including people, that aren't necessary for creating our as-built model. By removing unnecessary items, we can work with a smaller file size. This reduces load on our workstation and gives us smoother navigation in a 3D environment. We can achieve this through point cloud isolation. As seen here, isolation is the separation of various systems and components, items such as columns and walls, windows and doors. By separating the data through isolation, we can focus on areas of interest. For example, if a designer needed to work with just the columns, we can turn off all other systems in the point cloud and bring just the columns into a CAD program such as AutoCAD, Revit Architecture, and many others. As we rotate around the column, we can see quite a bit of detail that otherwise might be hard to see if the ceilings and the floors were still attached to these columns. This is one of the many benefits of isolating the data prior to bringing it into a CAD program. With everything turned on again, let's zoom out and take a look at our building. So let's turn off the areas we don't want, bring only the building into Revit architecture, and there we can model our as-built. So now we're looking at our point cloud brought into Revit architecture, and as we begin to rotate around it, we can see that all those surrounding elements that we did not want have been left out, giving us a clean import to work with. Using the point cloud, we'll begin by creating our levels. Then we'll switch over to a floor plan and begin creating our walls. and create our floors. Zooming in on the point cloud shows us there are columns on this level. So next we'll set up a grid to place our columns. Finally, we have a completed model, elevations, floor plans, and 3D section. If we pull up one of our laser scans, we can see that there are some fire doors that need to be added into our model. Switching back to a section box view, we can see the fire doors have been added to the second level of our project. And finally, we'll add lights according to their location in the point cloud. 